Yeah. Party dance time. I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. To stick around. We've got a video message. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Today we have, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. When I say fire... I mean light, plasma, and coronal mass ejection. And last I heard, when the corona gets mass ejected, there's mass in there. But I don't think either one of these two coronal mass ejections that happened on the 23rd are Earth-directed. I don't know. Let's go to space weather. Find out and read. The strongest flare of 2016. That's saying a lot because we are almost seven months done. Sunspot complex. AR2565-AR2567. It's like a college campus of uh, sunspots. You get brighter if you study there. Get it? I made a joke. Erupted on July 23rd. That was yesterday. Twice. Producing two strong solar flares in quick succession. The first at 211 UT. Registered M5 on the Richter scale of flares. The second, 516 UT time. Registered at M7.6. Making it the strongest flare of 2016 so far. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded the blast. Pulses of radiation from the two flares ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere. Well, that's great. I love it when I get ionized. Go ahead and charge my particles, baby. Causing a blackout of shortwave radio transmissions over the Pacific side of Earth. These maps from NOAA show the frequencies and territories affected. People who might have noticed the fading signals include ham radio operators, mariners, and aviators. Update. The explosions hurled an impressive coronal mass ejection into space. Movie. The body of the cloud will not hit Earth. However, Earth could experience a glancing blow. Ah, <sighs> my... Charged electrons could definitely use a glancing blow. Or a full-on blow. From shockwaves on the outskirts of the cloud. This has prompted NOAA forecasters. A minor geomagnetic storm. Warning for July 26th when the shocks might arrive. Oh. So we're just going to get hit by shockwaves. Not the actual coronal mass ejection. That's good. Right? What if those shockwaves will have gravitational waves? If you can figure it out, you might win a Nobel Prize. Asterisk. All right, well, there you have it. Now let's go take a look at it, shall we? All right, now we're going to be taking a look at these coronal mass ejections on Stereo's Ahead Core 2. Let's go way back, shall we? All the way to the 15th. We've got a lightsaber, a sword, and a rapier, and a rapier sticking out. Oh, now we got another sword. We have a giant launch liftoff of mass from the corona on the 17th. Then we get that barrel roll from the camera on the 17th to the 18th. And then the sun quiets down other than the giant... Spears and lances of light sticking out of it right now. And then we have the liftoff. I mean, it looks like the sun's giant, magnificent peacock tail tears off a bunch of feathers. And then right around the 22nd, we get a massive coronal mass ejection. And then a boom, boom, double. That looked like one in the pink and one in the stink. I don't even know what that means in solar physics, really. But but it applies totally. So, yeah, there you go. There's this crazy formation going on here. See that thing? That's nuts, man. Remember, the sun is... The white circle in the middle. Black circles the occulting disc covering the sun so we can see this wonderful action. These are what we've nicknamed the boob hills. Right there is the sun baby. And here is the cat hair of doom. Yeah, the cat hair of doom now has a moon. That's cute. There's some space algae in the lens or something. All right. Good solar physics times. Looks like a freaking shotgun blast, man. It looks like a freaking shotgun blast. Boom, boom, double-barreled solar shotgun blast. Headed your way, asterisk. And then you get the spaceship flying on through, and then the wonderful chunks of stuff. What? A photo of Egypt, a photo of Mars, how'd that get in there? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, yeah. This is definitely worth doing a video about. Click, click, boom, and then it turns into a space falcon. Boom, zip zap. It was like the sun just shot out a bolt of lightning, and that's pretty cool. That right, should be good on this one. Whoa, what was that? My brain just got all... Binary. Blocky. Whoa, and then we get the angel spaceship. That's neat. Come on, give it to me. Whoa, what the heck? You got space birds flying everywhere. 
I hope they're friendly. Just like your face. Beautiful iridescent clouds off Chile. Now back to the action. Wow. Whoa. Ooh. Holy crap. I'm gonna have to slow that down. Yeah, it's chunks of stuff. Lots of interesting happenings going on in and on around our buddy the sun. What the heck? That's a massive filament, and that is a massive eruption. What Joker stuck Earth map on here? What Joker stuck in the Earth map on here? Oh, it was me. I'm not a Joker, I'm more like the Batman. No. And that's Venus and Mercury swinging on by saying, Hello. So yeah, at the moment, solar activity is high. You've been warned. Peace out. God bless everyone.